Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the coolest off the grid travel trailers that I have ever seen. This is a 2021 Black Series model HQ19. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Black Series and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Wells RV Reviews Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at the coolest looking travel trailer one that is truly made to go off road to the black series but before i begin i would like to say hi to will hey you're not will hey i'm zach with rv1 of tampa how's it going zach it's going great hey i really appreciate you having me today again zach works at rv1 of tampa florida their phone number is 813-659-0008 and Zach, I just appreciate you having us today. Let's get started up front here, and why don't you tell us a little bit about the Black Series? Well, as you stated right in your intro, this is for off-roading. Yes. Not just off-roading, but extreme off-roading. Yes. So starting right here with the hitch. Okay. You got 70 degrees of articulation for going up and down. So if you drop it in a hole, you can pull it back out. If you haven't hit a rock or something you're not supposed to on the sides and you roll your camper, this hitch goes 360 degrees, just so you don't roll your truck if you roll your camper. Now this is called an articulating hitch. We haven't seen one of these yet for the show, but um, by the way, the Black Series has a YouTube channel, we'll link it down below, that explains the hitch situation. But what you're saying is, this hitch was designed for those off-road places so the coupler doesn't come off the hitch, correct? Absolutely. Perfect. There's no chance of losing a ball, the hitch falling off your truck, anything you can imagine, this hitch will go through. And then also something that I noticed, is this like emergency brake? What's this for? That is an emergency brake. Just in case you happen to camp somewhere where it's a little rougher terrain, or you're up on a rock, or you got a little bit of a decrease in hill, you pull the brake, Okay, so that's not made to replace your wheel chalk. That's made in addition to okay. the wheel chalk. Very cool. Tell us what else we got going on up here. So up here, you have a power tongue jack. Okay. Just in case it's needed. Most of the time, you'll want to use the manual one. Okay. This helps. But again, if you're in a place where you got rough terrain, you're going to want to use both of them with that brake. It'll keep your camper from going anywhere you may need right when you unhitch it. I love it. Look at this. This is uh, aluminum, all aluminum. It's galvanized steel. Wow, galvanized steel. 21 gauge at the brace. Man, very nice. Look at the nice look, aer aerodynamic. You got, now this is the aluminum diamond plate, right? Correct. And every angle of this diamond plating is actually angled for when your truck kicks rocks at it, it'll kick them back down instead of kicking it at your truck. Nice, I love it. What do we got under here? So when you're here, it comes with two 20 pound propane tanks. We got room for 240s if need be. Okay. In here, you got a rack for your two jerry cans and your fuel cell. For jerry can? Jerry can. What's that? A jerry can is a, the red gas cans that you see all the off-roading people. Can. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, you're all good. Well, like I said, you got a rack for two jerry cans, and then that is your fuel cell for your onboard diesel furnace. Wow, so not a propane furnace. Correct. The, the diesel makes a more comfortable air, so it's not quite as dry interesting i love that now now what else is really cool about the black series that nice headlight and again just the way it looks you got these red bars going on uh those are like bumpers yeah they're rock guards so if you were to happen to hit a rock it will damage the the rock guard instead of damaging the side of the rv so. nice nice now the black series is still new and in zach's He's not even an expert on it yet, but he does know most in the dealership. That's why you should give him a call. But where did they um, get these things from? These are from Australia. Nice. So that's what they were designed to do for the back roads of Australia. The biggest thing is if you look underneath here. Here we go. It has no axles like a normal travel trailer. Okay, look at that, yeah. It has a full independent suspension for each wheel. 
It's got one coil and two monster shocks per wheel, so you can go over anything you may need to. Wow, that is really cool. And then what do we got going on here? By the way, uh, it's 19 HQ, but the actual tip to tip length, according to the website I saw, was 26 feet, four inches. But again, I'm not even 100% sure. I, I should have the specs on the screen um, from Black Series once I know exactly what it is. So you're getting up here, you have a full pass through. Okay. For all of your equipment that you may need to bring. You got a little level right here. Nice. Just to help you out when you're putting in spot. This is one of the coolest things. Is you have this very commercialized wow. door kitchen. Holy smokes. So you have this tray table that folds out here. You also have this that flips. Whoa, out. look at that. Man, we're in the outback now. Yeah, with a sink and a two burner cooktop i like that now something that i really like about this sink it's not one of those sinks where you just take it and you dump it out there actually is a hose for, and and you can put like a five gallon bucket underneath or whatever that way it's not getting your campsite muddy and that's a really nice feature yep. and then also in it you got a full silverware drawer wow and more additional drawers very cool now you do have an awning that is a manual awning correct it is actually an automatic awning with a manual override perfect perfect i love it and then right here we have a propane quick connect correct and then a light sensor right there yep and so that one has a little solar power charge in it so it'll keep you also you have a floodlight on this side just as you would point it out on the front you yes have a floodlight on each side of this and then are those dual pane windows they are single pane okay single pane windows but they are the Euro style that flips out that way. Correct. And then look at these tires. They're the Coopers. I love those. Look at them, guys. They're the LT265-75R16. And again, he was saying the independent suspension. That is so cool. What right do we got here, right there? This is just an outdoor tray table. Okay. It just flips down and makes an extra space for it. I love it. I love it. If you come to the back here, you not only have four Cooper tires here, but you also have two additional Cooper oh, tires. Oh, wow. Very cool. Nice tail light design there. You can see the galvanized steel. Very, very cool. Let's check out that other side. I mean, if you don't think this is the absolute coolest travel trailer, I don't know. Please, somebody, leave down in the comments below. Let me know if you've seen a cooler looking travel trailer on the exterior. I mean, look at that, okay. Very nice. So those are your stabilizing jacks manual, right? Correct. And then also if you come back here, you have a D-ring on each side that is rated for 9,000 pounds. They anticipate you getting muddy with this in case you have to pull it back out. Each ring is rated for 9,000 9, pounds. Wow, wow. And then right there, that's where you dump in your tanks? Correct. Very cool. And then you also have an additional hitch back there if you want to put a tray for extra coolers or whatever you might need to bring. I love it. I love it. What do we got here? Right here is you got your city water connection. Okay. You have a 16-gallon drinking water tank that is filtered for your drinking water to your kitchen sink. Then you have a 40-gallon fresh water tank. Interesting. For a total of 56 gallons of fresh water. Very cool. Right Very here, cool. Behind this, you have your full outdoor shower as you'd find on every travel trailer yes sir yes sir this is the back of your six gallon hot water tank okay now you're telling me there is an option correct so this is standard is six gallon hot water the option is you can get a tankless hot water heater on this very cool and then when you come to your other side of your pass through you have your residential style breaker box easy to read easy to understand i like that Perfect. Also, well, uh -huh. not to mention, on the top of this, you have four Whoa. 150 watt solar panels. Very cool. I don't know if I'll be able to see it. Nope, I'm a little too short, but there's four of them? Correct. Very cool, King Air digital antenna, and then the AC unit's gonna be on the roof as well, right? Yes. Perfect. Well, Zach, the outside of the Black Series looks great. Let's go take a look at the inside. So starting with the inside here, we do have the full electric step. Oh, wow. It's controlled by a switch right in here. Cool, cool. 
Let me walk in real quick and then we'll start right up here. Very nice. Cool, let's get started with that front bedroom area. So starting up here, you have a queen size bed. Yes. You have access to some of your electrical and then access to your water heater in case you ever need to work on either of them. Okay, so the panels okay. are right there. As you can see just from the front of this, you have Malaysian maple wood with a high gloss veneer finish. Did you say Malaysian? I did. Nice, I like that. Okay, very nice cabinetry as well. Open that up, wow. You can definitely feel the quality in this. And look, again, those little latches. I haven't seen a manufacturer do that yet. Oop, if we can see that. Oh, those little latches on our door to make sure that it's not coming open during transit. Nice headboard there. Little light fixture going on. Very nice. And then it does look like we have some storage here. Yep, you have access to the drawers on each side. Very nice. Soft closed drawers at that. Yeah, every cabinet piece in here is extremely high quality. Yes, yes. Can we see that one right there? Now here's part of the confusing part. Uh, I've never seen a setup like this. Um, but when you buy one of these, we, they do a full demo and orientation with you and they show you how to use all that, right? Yes. Perfect. Yep, so this, this is your control panel for the Black Series. You're gonna have your water tanks. Okay already on here these are um your pumps for the water tanks perfect as well as all your electric meters because you do have those four panels up top you have 400 amp hour batteries that okay. we'll show you here in a minute wow that side and then these are all your touch switches for everything in here this is the master control switch so you press this everything in here will shut back off nice and then under that bed we do have a little bit of storage right there as well okay cool now zach you know what time it is what time is it it's now time for the msrp burr, 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 burr. do you know the msrp msrp is just a touch over eighty-eight thousand. holy oh. stuff eighty-eight thousand dollars msrp zach is it are these selling for that or no are they selling for lower than msrp we do give some discounts off msrp well perfect then if somebody wants a discount all they got to do is call 813-659-0008. Ask for Zach, ask for somebody in sales, ask for somebody, um, ask for a Black Series specialist. And Zach will, I promise you guys, he'll take care of you before, during, and after the sale. And he'll make sure you get a phenomenal price on this. Yes, I will. Man, that's expensive for, I thought the Airstreams were pricey. This is for someone that wants the quality of an Airstream, yep. but they want to get dirty. I love it, I love it. Look right up here. This is super nice. Yep, so you do have a full skylight in here. Okay. You can either black it out. Uh-huh. Or you have a screen. Perfect. Because this does pull down and you can push up. Oh. That way you have open air. Zach, I need your help. Hold that and then kind of angle it so we can see Hopefully we're able to see what's going on up on the roof now. Very cool. Perfect. Yeah, so hopefully uh, we were just able to see some of the solar on the roof. Four solar panels right there. If you want to hold this for me, I'll show everybody the kitchen. We got a Westinghouse TV right here. It does pivot for a good living room area. Uh, we do have a microwave up here. Very nice. Nice countertop. It's not solid surface. Um, but it's definitely not the cheaper material either. Look at this very nice sink. They even have like a little workstation here. I love that. I, I, I'm digging that. This is super nice with the cabinetry. You can tell the quality with the struts and everything. Nice big window. Now listen guys, when I talk about Euro style windows, this is what I mean. You can push that, push that. Push that and push that. And then look at that. You go like this, bam, just like that. Very, very nice window feature right there. And then you just lock them back up like that. And then just like that light up there, have your daytime windows. 
and your privacy windows. Very nice feature. And then this right here, okay. Three burner cooktop, very nice. Very fancy. Showed that. Nice little, man, they really did think of everything. That is a very nice feature. Got your big oven right there for what it is. Nice little storage underneath there. Thank you, sir. Wow, very cool. And then got your drawers here. Soft closed drawers. I love that. Listen to how it clicks into place. You ready? Oh, <laughs> there you go. One more time. Very cool. Awesome. Well, oh, and then right over here, got a little bit more storage right there. And then your propane, two-way fridge, propane and electric. And then why don't you sit down at the dinette and tell us what's going on there. Well, I can't even sit to show you what's going on here. So for starters, one of the biggest things about the Black Series is people want to go off grid. Okay. So underneath your beautiful white leather interior, you have a 2000 watt inverter. Okay, very cool. This is taking all the power from your four solar panels up top and they're putting it in your four batteries that you have underneath on this side. Oh wow, show me. Oop. So right here you got four 100 deep cycle amp hour batteries. Wow, so cool. You know, so many people have been asking about the solar and the lithium and, and so many people want solar, but you don't realize to get what I call real solar, it's you're, you're spending $88,000 for a tiny travel show like this. Can you sit in the dinette and demonstrate it for us? Thank you, sir. Yeah, so the dinette, plenty of room for two people. Then once, if you were to have a third person travel with you, all you do is take this and push it down. That's how you make your bed. Wow, that easy, huh? Yep. Very nice. We do have nice cabinetry above. Perfect, perfect. Cool, hold this, let me put this back for you. Very nice. If you follow me in here, how tall are you, Zach? I'm six foot. Okay, I'm sorry. You stand in the shower. Look at that. Plenty of head height, plenty of width. That's a one piece fiberglass shower. Correct. Not to mention it has the coolest shower door I've ever seen. Show me. Works flawlessly. It is full stainless steel. Zach, you know how many reviews I've done? You know how many shower doors I've seen? Probably a million. That is also the coolest shower door I've ever seen. Look at that. Look at that, what's going on? And, and yeah, you can feel how smooth it is as well. Yeah, works that, impeccably well. That is awesome, very nice. That does get the shower test seal of approval. Then if you hold this, I mean, you can, you can definitely feel the quality. Mm -mm -mm got your lights, a nice big mirror back here, nice porcelain sink. What the heck is this? That is a seven gallon washer. No way! Yes. Look at this, America. Isn't that the, does it dry as well or just wash? It just washes. Still, I mean, that is, I was not expecting that. You got a drawer right here. Very nice, very nice drawer. A little bit of storage right there. And it's now time for the toilet test. Porcelain. It's a little tight in here, Zach, I'm not gonna lie. But that might be because of me. For how small this travel trailer is, I am gonna give it to it. This is a prime pooping position. Very nice. Zach, anything else you want to show us about this trailer? Or is that it? I touched all the major components. Perfect. Well, that's it. That's the review. Now, Zach, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give them 
three things we love about this travel trailer and three things we dislike about it. Zach, what do we do first? Obviously the things we like. We love the hitch. Okay. We love the suspension. And yes. We love the fact that you can have a 19 foot trailer with a washer in it. I love it. I mean, you did that super fast. But yes, I, I, I must agree that, so hang on, let, let's restart. So one's that articulating hitch. It makes it so when you are driving off the beaten path, it's not, the, the hitch isn't gonna undo like a traditional travel trailer would. Um, you said number two was what? That was number three. Yeah, now I'm going. Oh, it's okay. Number- oh, the suspension. Oh, yeah, number two to kind of combo with number one was that independent suspension. Tell me a little bit more about that suspension. So again, the suspension, instead of having axles like a normal travel trailer, yeah. it has each wheel is on its full independent suspension. I love it. So it's got one shock coil and two shocks per wheel. I love it. And then number three, obviously, was the, a washing machine in here. This is freaking amazing. You don't see that on some motor, on most motorhomes. So the fact that they were able to squeeze it into a travel trailer like this is super awesome. Great, so that's three things we love about it. Now I'll tell you guys three things that I don't like about this travel trailer. So number one, for me, there's no lights in here, okay? Now there is some lights right here and I haven't figured out how to get them on yet, but still, I, I, I come from the school, I love the uh, just traditional lights, just give me a regular light button. They do have a complicated button system over here that I spent five, 10 minutes trying to play around with and I couldn't figure out. But again, one of the shop guys, they'll go over all that with you. I'm gonna give you another light. I love this cabinetry. Just the way it clips and everything. So that's dislike number one. Dislike number two, it's going to be no slide outs in here. And I understand it. And to go off the grid, you can't have the slide outs, but here's what I mean kind of like an airstream with how this is built dollar for dollar it's pretty expensive and so you're not going to get that type of space but this is for the person who doesn't necessarily want the space they rather have the capa uh, capability of going off the grid so that's number two and then do you have a dislike because i do have a third but i don't know if it's worth it I really can't see anything I dislike about this trailer. That's a good salesman. That's a good salesman, Zach. Okay, so number three is going to be outside. Follow me. So the number three dislikes just going to be these steps for me. You guys know I, I always like the Lippert steps or the Moride steps, those fold-up steps. I understand why they didn't do this on this because it is made for off the grid. I just like me being a little bit heavier. I just like a more sturdy step. Well, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching. Big shout out to RV1 of Tampa, Florida. And big shout out to Zach. Zach, how can people get a hold of you? They can give me a call right here at, um, at the dealership. Just ask for Zach or the Black Series Specialist. Yes, 813-659-0008 is their phone number. Zach, anything else you want to say to America? Keep camping and let's go off roading. Perfect, I love it. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And again, big shout out to RV1 for having me here today. Zach, thank you so much for being on the show, educating us a little bit, and we'll see you guys next time.